What is going on everyone? We are back on the water. It has been quite a while since we've been kayak camping. We are doing a three-day trip down the uh, Lano River. We have not done this section before. Uh, so we got 15 miles over three days. Now this section of the Lano River flooded really, really bad about two or three years ago, I believe it was. Um, lake LBJ, the constant level lake, actually flooded too. So kind of worried about how the fishing will be since the flood. Uh, CFS is around 70 to 75, so we should have a decent flow rate. It looks like this first stretch will be kind of kind of carrying our kayak, so hopefully that's not a theme throughout the trip. But the other guys are actually running a car to the end. Uh, so while they're gone, I'm going to rig up their rods for them. I'm going to get on the water and get out there. But mission this uh, trip is to catch a pretty good sizable guad. Uh, this section of river is known for having a lot of Guadalupe bass, so it's going to be a species that we're going to target. Hopefully there's some good rapids and some beautiful scenery along the way. But uh, get you guys going back up on the GoPro once we get everyone rigged up and see what we can get into. sucked. <laughs> the start was pretty subpar. Yeah. <laughs> Don't want to have to do that. I think we're coming up to the first decent rapid. All right, we've made it to the first rapid. We're going to scope it out. Looks like you can kind of go left or right. So we'll see which side is better. So we're scouting the first rapid here, trying to determine if we want to try and run it or if we just carry them down and go. I think you can go on the other side and it looks less sketchy. There's just a pretty tight turn you gotta make and we are all loaded down. We got so much stuff for day two and three that we don't wanna ruin it, so. Gonna get back with the group and see if we wanna go around or see if we wanna try and run it. But the water's just a little too low. If it was up maybe to like 100, 120 CFS, I think it'd be much more, much more doable. The site might be just as difficult, so good luck us. It's gonna be a walkabout. And there's a buffet of lures here for him, I don't understand. It's a bird oh, for yeah. It's fish. Yeah, you gotta hit on something. Well, the wind is over. I wonder if it's our location area or I want yeah, I'm wondering if this canyon is blocking the wind. Or if it was just that was like a just a shitty time or something. Yeah, it's like always windy at that time in the morning. Disappointing. Like I would rather catch like a bunch of small ones than nothing. Ah! 
God dang it. Rapid number two that might be a little, this might be a walkable one too, it's kind of low, but we scout it out first. We've determined it's too low, so we're gonna just walk them down backwards. There's a lot of a lot of rocks in the way and a sharp turn, so we don't wanna lose everything day one for nights two and three. We have no clue how far we've really gone. We're using pre-downloaded maps, but it says 3.7 miles and we're aiming for five a day. We're gonna put in a little bit of work. It's beautiful out here. The fishing hasn't been spectacular, but you trade some stuff for some stuff for sure. It's nice to have good views. Good morning everyone. Started day two. Found this nice little island between two river streams here. Look at this scenery behind us. Sure is beautiful out here. Very different topography than the South Llano River. A lot more iron rich minerals, a lot of red rock structure here. We decided to camp on an island that looks like it had been inhibited by some wild boars. Last night we made the old classic sausage potatoes and uh, Brayman forgot to eat his potatoes so we're gonna have double the tater for breakfast this morning. We did about five miles yesterday and the fishing was tough. I think we caught a total of like eight fish between the four of us. Got a, another camp spot around mile six or seven today. We don't want to do a little bit less on the third day so that we're not struggling. Gonna get the uh, fire stoked, get some nice bed of coals, and then make some delicious, delicious breakfast tacos. Fern trying a new method here. Yeah, directly on the coals and it's pretty good. It's nice and baked. Oh my god. I've watched it grow. <laughs> And then the little rock to pull it, 
to cool it. Let's have at it. Yeah, it's breakfast time, fellas. Just doing the courteous once over at your camp to make sure you don't leave any crap behind. We knew we had one last go of stuff, but pocket dogs for the road. Fire's out. Go check where we slept at to see if there's any junk. Nice little spot. Start of day two, about to commence. We're going back to our roots. Gonna throw some jigs. What time is it? All right. So it took us forever. Yeah, for sure. I can steer way better. Might be able to get to try some of these rapids today. On the board, first squad of the day, baby. The jig, dude! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stretch looks a little subpar for fishing, so I'll turn you back on once we find a deeper spot. It's real shallow here. Got our first portage of the whole trip. There's a road coming up, so fingers crossed the river gets a little narrower and deeper. It's been pretty shallow so far. And go underneath it. Thank God. So, anybody else on the board yet? I got one. Early. I didn't have one. Yeah, I'm not going to go yet. Okay. All the way to the boat. Quite opposite of yesterday. What? Who's caught fish so far? We all got fish yesterday. No, I know, but Trey didn't catch one until like the very. I can't believe there's not a guad in here. smallest fish though yeah I mean maybe like four inches four and a half I should have measured them do blogs hang out where largemouth do they generally like water that's moving faster than this that's a general general statement though I think so I've caught them in trees before second of the day another quad super fat pudgy little belly
get snagged. Oh man, this is decent. but he got it past his gullet, so. Graham's gonna try and do some surgery. I think he just either threw up on me or shit on me. Ooh, that's good luck. What did, what was? Dragonfly and crawfish guts. Oh, okay. That's definitely a good sign, though. We can see what they're eating. Dragonflies and crawfish, huh? Yeah. be trying to throw a dragonfly. <laughs> I have not been able to catch one yet. Man, no wind at all today. Yesterday, a lot of wind. Kind of happy. Call me before. No. He was like, I got fooled. Makes me sick. But I was hoping not to swim after eating. Another one. They're all about the same size. And they all managed to unhook themselves, which is great. This stretch has been pretty good so far. Call that a success, folks. Everyone caught a little fishy fish, and it's not even over yet. What a beautiful spot. That's the island? I think so. Did you look at anything past that spot? Yeah, it's a little further down now. Oh. Well, that would... Like past this, there's not a lot until we get to that next spot. That probably at mile seven or so. What is this, mile six? This is about mile five. Okay. We probably want to do a little more work then, yeah? 
a little bit more work? I would think, right? I think so. I mean, it's 5 o'clock now. So, we've got an hour where we start. We need to get to where we need to be. Yeah. I think we're going to put in a little bit of work. We got, I think we've done about five miles and we need to do seven today. So, head down this rapid set, get some work in, find camp and grub up. I am hungry. My personal smalls. <laughs> that thing is so tiny. My personal smalls. Dude, look at that. This little guy. Personal smalls. Going out the board. Mouth closed. Five inches. Five, wow, okay, that's pretty big. Yeah, it's about average. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Hang on, I gotta fight this fish while I go down the rapid. Alright, I've never done that before. But you're gonna come with me. Good morning, folks. Start of day three. We were cutting it extra close last night. We set up camp at almost dark. Found a nice little spot here. Get the fire behind me. About to get breakfast tacos for day three started. Raymond's out there doing a little fishing. He. We were so rudely woken up by fish blowing up. So Raymond got up and threw a whopper plopper on and he's actually already caught one. So fingers crossed that's a sign for the whole whole rest of our trip. We only have like a mile and a half till we get to the end spot. So not super worried about putting in a lot of effort today. I think we paddled about seven or eight miles yesterday. Very taxing, fingers hurt, tails hurt, feet hurt. Everything hurts. Everything is soaking wet too. There's so much dew. Holy shit, dude. Oh my God, that's like a slab. Dude. That is a slab. You need a scale? Yeah. And a board? Holy shit, dude. <laughs> that's a good one. Dude. That's a... Holy shit! Dude, you gotta fucking extend it, I think. <laughs> A bucket now. Dude. It's 
21 and a half. Bloody tail too. Dude, six pounds. <sighs> See that top water bite's pretty good. I mean, if you're gonna keep catching them like you are, only a matter of time before you get into a good one. Yeah, you were right, Fern. Oh, uh, it's back? Yeah. This might be a legendary day. one from the boat for today. New new record. Smallest fish. A personal smallest for sure. Okay, everyone's pulling them out right now. This is non-stop. <laughs> New personal small. Probably about a ten or twelve. change? Do you think the river is just better fishing? Right. Okay. We became better fishermen than we were on 
two days ago. Yeah, I think this has had a lot of good spots. A lot of good deep pockets. Yeah. That's what I was noticing is there's a lot of deep pools right here. Should have kept count. Yeah, man, I'm not ready for it to end. Yeah. You gotta go left. What is the way? I think you gotta go left up over there. I'm right over you. There's gonna be a fish coming over you. <laughs> Continue on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would have had to have landed it for me. Coming to an end. Let's get out of this. Right there. I see cars driving. Haven't seen anyone in other than our group in two days. Head back to reality. terrible oh. that's a wrap folks three days in the book I am exhausted I have no more strength left <sighs> cut my foot pretty good on the second day so it's been a uh, kind of difficult the last yesterday and today walking around have not been easy it's very tender Overall, the fishing was pretty good. I thought that we were gonna struggle considering that flood um, really wiped out this whole area. But Brayman caught that six pounder early this morning. It was super foggy, which was pretty sweet. And then, I don't know, we lost count a thousand guad. So tons of guad bass. If, if you're ever interested in a river looking for guads, hit the Lano, because it is stacked. Trey's going to get Brayman's truck gonna come back and get me and then we got about a two hour drive home if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all on the next one peace